Zach Kilpatrick has signed a three-year contract to become the offensive coordinator for the University of Wyoming Cowboys of the FBS Mountain West Conference. Welcome to 2024 Wyoming Cowboys Football. The 2024 Schedule The preseason top 25 rankings. Let's meet the 2024 coaching staff. Head coach, Tim Birch. Defensive coordinator, James Gore. Offensive coordinator, Zach Kilpatrick. The 2024 Wyoming Cowboys roster.
Red Shirt Jr. John Michael Gillenborg has been named preseason first team All Mountain West Conference tight end. Red Shirt Senior Jordan Bertinoli has been named preseason first team All Mountain West Conference defensive tackle. Red Shirt Senior Shea Suyanoa has been named preseason second team All Mountain West Conference middle linebacker. Senior Harrison Whaley has been named preseason second team All Mountain West Conference halfback. Senior Tyrekus Davis has been named preseason second team All Mountain West Conference cornerback. Redshirt senior Wyatt Eckler has been named preseason second team All Mountain West Conference free safety. Redshirt senior Isaac White has been named preseason second team All Mountain West Conference strong safety. The 2024 Wyoming Cowboys Recruiting Board. Our Week 1 non-conference matchup has the Wyoming Cowboys of the Mountain West Conference traveling to Tempe to take on the Arizona State Sun Devils of the Big 12. Welcome everyone to Tempe, Arizona and Mountain America Stadium, home to the Arizona State Sun Devils, where Sparky and his gang have been sharpening those pitchforks in anticipation of this one. There's just something about the nightcap. After a day of wall-to-wall -wall football, it just seems this is when chaos ensues. As we'll see a squad from the Mountain West, the Wyoming Cowboys, taking on a team from the Big 12, the Arizona State Sun Devils. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. And the Cowboys ready to get this thing started and open the season. He'll bring it out. It's Blatt. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. So the Arizona State Sun Devils return team will have that offense backed up. And there he is, a man who makes an entire stadium hold its breath every time he touches the ball, Jesse. This defense better had a lot of breath in this game, too, because he gets better as the game goes on. He's the kind of guy, David, who can wear a defense down. And he is the primary focus. That's what this defense is focused and keyed in on. we got to stop him if we're going to have success today. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. To the ground with the back. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. They finally get him on the ground with a big running play moves to change for the first down. And a great job by the offensive line. If you're going to run the ball right up the middle, you better control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackles doing a good job getting on their guys just enough where this running back can get into space and make the big game. They'll snap this one from the 30 on first and 10. 
They go to the draw. Finds his way for three after the 33. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. The gift to the back. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. And the Sun Devils are moving quickly down the field. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Line getting set on second down. The play action fake. And he can't escape, and down he goes. When it's a play action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. They want to throw it. Got it set up on the outside. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. You want to talk about building a drive around a guy first on the ground and now using him in the passing game. And you get so much bang for your buck because you can split them out wide. You can fake it to him and throw it. This is the guy that really stretches the field and makes you decide how you want to defend him. A linebacker, a safety, whatever it is, it's usually not good enough when he's receiving a ball out of the backfield. The Cowboys offense headed on to the field. Our first look at them today. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys that are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level, and he's got some speed. Might as well give it to him again. Pass the first down marker and still running. And he picks up the first down, and he does it. I'm not going to say spin move. That was a pirouette. It was elegant. It was beautiful. It's first and ten from the 38-yard line. To the air. It's Svoboda. Fires to the big fella. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy gain. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. They're going back to the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. From the gun, wants to pass. 
coming after him. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. And listen, the quarterback drops back, and he's going through his progressions. We see zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. this defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. He'll bring it back. It's Brown. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. Arizona State has the ball back in the offense, making its way onto the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. They'll go to work on second down after doing damage on the ground. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Draws are such a smart way to take advantage of fast defensive linemen that want to get upfield and get after the quarterback. It keeps them honest, makes them realize they got to play the run, too. Great play call. A third down try for the offense. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Steam rolls his way ahead. My, oh my, 41 yards on the ground, and they wanted to have an identity as a running team, and he's giving them that in the season opener. The Sun Devils have it with a first and ten. Use the play fake, now to throw. Can hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. Yeah, and he looked like he had the opportunity to secure that, obviously, open over the middle of the field, but you know how that works. Middle of the field, more defenders. Am I going to get whacked when I hit this thing? It makes those guys think a little bit. You see more drops over the middle of the field. Out of the gun, the inside kick. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Goodness, that happened fast. He was in the backfield before the ball was even snapped. Oh, man, adrenaline pumping, heart beating a little faster. There is some intensity on that one. A chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. Looking to throw. Safe completion on the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. And the Sun Devils will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Scanning the field, it's Svoboda. He'll take a deep shot here. And he makes the grab and gets the foot down. What a job for a huge game there. Man, if I'm a defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. It's first down from the 37 yard line. They go to the ground. They're just trying to flex the muscle. They get him down at the 34 after a pickup of four. 
small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He's looking to throw. Finds a tight end. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. That's a great example of the defense there tackling the catch. As soon as the big fella caught the ball, down he went, not picking up the first. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Quick strike complete. Now he's got it all the way down to the 21-yard line, and they are threatening on first down. I don't always have to push the ball down the field. I love when QBs drop back, look at it matchups. Oh, I got my running back. I think he can get the first down. Give him the football. Let him be an athlete with the football in his hands after he catches it. Nice job by the QB. Nice job by the running back. They make the stop after a pickup of three balls at the 18. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Now the play fade. Pressure coming. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Oh, and they corral the ball so they avoid the turnover. But, man, did they lose a chunk of yardage. So the officials take a closer look, and the replay booth will overturn the call. They run into a bit of trouble here, third and long from the 25, and the last thing they want is to get knocked out of field goal range. Working that left side now. I would love for it to be fourth and short. That would be great. That's an ideal world, but it's not. It's fourth and long, and it's not an ideal world because it's a video game, so we're going for it. They're happy enough to try to take the points as the field goal unit heads out. Not a particularly long kick from 36 yards out, but he'll have to guide it in from the left hash. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive, and the first points of the day come on that field goal. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut them down. The returner will field it and bring it back. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Arizona State is going back on offense, and they come out looking for a spark. They'll get this drive going from the 17. On the ground, it's Scatterbo. Gets it out to the 20 after a pickup of four. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter.
We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. He's looking for an open man on second down. Fires to the tight end. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. Drag down after a pickup of five out to the 35. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He'll keep it himself. He locked up and held on to bring him down. I don't think the quarterback made the right read on that play. I know they're asking a lot of this QB. He's got a lot to focus on with the pass game and all the different types of runs that they have in their playbook. But on that play there, that pre-snap look told me to hand it off. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. Using his legs to buy some time. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And he's running in the open. And they exploited that soft spot, and they get it down to the 35. The Sun Devils will hustle to the line. Fantastic job there, buying time and then using his speed to go get a huge chunk play. You saw on defense a lot of people in the back end with their heads turned around chasing receivers. It's dangerous. You want to play man coverage. You don't want to keep your eyes on the quarterback. You're going to pay for it. You saw it right there. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. But starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. Unloads to the wideout. Got it! And he'll step out of bounds just short of the goal line. Almost a touchdown, but not in there yet. Man, man coverage, when they get up in your face and they make things hard, you want to be able to attack the whole field and get them lean in one direction and then break outside like you did there. Nice out route connection. Nice chemistry between quarterback and wide receiver. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. They'll use the running game on first and goal. And he'll take it in. Touchdown, Sun Devils! I love running backs that have a nose for the goal line. Understand how to get there, finish strong into the end zone, know I get six, and then go celebrate with your boys. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Gentlemen, it has gone final in that top 25 matchup we've been keeping a close eye on. Notre Dame notched a victory in enemy territory, and though it wasn't a dominant win, I'd argue any win away from South Bend is worth its weight in gold to the Golden Domers. Going to be interesting to see what the fallout from this one is for one ranked team, while the other figures to get a bounce when the new rankings come out, guys. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. They'll snap it from the 20 for the opening play of this drive. give to the single back tried to move that pile forward he maybe gets two he's down at the 21 and a lot of times you want those big plays you want those splash plays but sometimes you're going to take some losses you're not going to run the football overly well but if you continue to run it you can at least create some balance you at least have the threat of it otherwise you're just going to abandon it and now it's just going to be a passing game and he slid through that attempt and he's got room 
He's now up to 52 yards rushing, and that is quite an impressive first half here in this season opener. What a run, man. I tell you what, it's hard to pop runs. It's hard to get three, four, five, six yards a lot of times. But when you've got backs like this who can make huge plays with the speed, getting out in the open field, can take it the distance on every play, defenses are scared out of their mind. Feeling some heat. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. This defense, they are tenacious. And they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action. They've already racked up big sack numbers. It's starting to snowball, and they are ready to go again. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. It's complete to the right. They've got the defense reeling right now with that big play to the 29. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. The Cowboys are flying down the field. Leaves it with the back. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. On second down, looking again to throw. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Looked like the offense had a chance for a big play there, but the running back just could not reel that ball in. They've moved it to the 25, but now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. And the third down pass is incomplete. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. And it's no good. He missed it. And it is still a four-point deficit. State has the ball back in the offense, making its way onto the field. Really good balance on that last drive. They mixed it up all over the place, Jesse. Yeah, how nice, too, to have the defense on their heels because at this point, they don't know what's coming at them. They had problems stopping everything that last drive. Did. So I think this defense would come back with a little more aggressiveness. I mean, they let them have what they wanted. Now they got to dictate to this offense a little bit more. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. On the run, it's Scatabo. Didn't get much done on that run. He'll fight his way out and maybe, maybe pick up a yard. What a great play by the linebacker. Did you talk about filling a hole? The defensive line does their jobs. He comes in the hole and says, sit down, sir. Here on third down for this offense. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Really nice job there to pick up the first down and get it to their own 41. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. And the Sun Devils have it with a first and 10. Hand off from the gun. Runs through the tackle. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. And a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. Quickly out to the tight end. 
And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone, make them execute, and rally to the ball. 100% zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. Picked up some yardage on that completion, but still a third down. Throws to the wideout. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe, and how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double-checking to make sure. They're down to the 32-yard line on first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Looking to scramble. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket, nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't, and he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. And here comes the offense on second down. Yeah, and I like the quarterback's quick decision-making. Puts it on the ground, decides to take it himself, goes, gets the necessary yardage, first down. All the way down to the 15-yard line, it's first down. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. And the pass to the sideline will pick up a short gain. Well, this tight end, he's got size and he's got some athleticism, and he's very difficult to cover one-on-one. -on -one. Defense is going to have their hands full with him today. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Off the play fake. Trying to get to it. Pressure all over the quarterback, and down he goes at the 24. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. And this offense has gotten off to a good start on third down, but this is a different deal on third and long. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range, they go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. So now on comes the field goal unit. And this will be a 41-yarder coming up from the right side. Absolutely perfect. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. They've been pretty much stifled on offense so far, David, only able to muster three points in their previous three drives. And you got to find a way to open this up and create some explosive plays. The passing game is obviously the easiest way. Jesse, put more speed on the field. Find those guys down the field. 
And you know they're frustrated, too, because they felt like there were some matchups they could take advantage of to get some points on the board early in this one. They just haven't been able to connect on those opportunities. But I like David's idea. Maybe move some guys around and see if you can create some better one-on-one -on -one matchups. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. It's complete on the right side. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football, they play a wide receiver basically for you, but you got to find a guy that you can throw it to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. So they're facing third and short from the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. Pulls it in, it's King. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Gets it out fast. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He's looking to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. Uh, missed opportunity on offense. QB and receiver just not on the same page there. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. Back to the air one more time. And the quarterback goes down. There is a penalty flag on the field, but I think the defense might have the option just to take this play. They'll decline the penalty here and let the result of that play stand. And the Cowboys will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the returner will be brought down. Arizona State is going back on offense, and they come out looking for a spark. So last time, David, they ate up some clock, ran a bunch of plays, but settled for the field goal. Yeah, but they're still up, Reese, and I like where I'm at. And if I'm on offense right now, my job is to put another long drive together, eat more clock, and get another score. Just got to be better in the red zone this time around. When they get down close to the goal line, you need better execution to put a touchdown on the board here. Offense in an empty set. Looking to throw on second down. Fires to the big fella. And this junior quarterback shows you why the scouts love that big arm of his. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. You know, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. The Sun Devils getting set on first and ten. He wants to throw. Dumps it to the back. Catch in the middle. It's Scatterboat. They make the tackle at the 36, but they're in plus territory now with the 15-yard pickup. Really nice job by the running back setting up that angle route. He's making it look like he's running to the flat, and then he puts his foot in the ground, cuts back across the defender's face, and makes himself an easy target for the quarterback. They'll snap it from the 36. They've got a first down. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Oh, the offense very fortunate to fall on that football. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Woo. Deep breath, right? Man, you, you fumble that thing, you cough it up. You're like, oh, I really appreciate you, brother. I can't tell you how much I thank you because the coaches would have been all over me, but big time break for the offense. This offensive line has just been unable to keep them away from the quarterback. Now it's second and long. He's looking to throw. And he dropped it, just didn't look the thing all the way in. 
man, he was open. He had an opportunity. He just got to look that thing. A lot of times guys are catching it, and as they're catching it, you see their head start to turn to try to think about getting upfield, and they just lose that concentration for a second. A little missed opportunity there for this offense. This is a third and long. They'll try the run. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. And the Sun Devils send out the punt unit. And it looks as if this one's going to carry into the end zone for a touchback. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break give to the running back that may not look like a huge run but they'll take it as it gets him up to the 24. first half in the books time now to join kevin connors in our halftime update thanks guys looks like we've got a terrific atmosphere there in tempe talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield he's been a total game changer and how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Mountain America Stadium. Thanks for that breakdown, Kevin.
The Sun Devils will kick it away first and will start the second half. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. And the return man showing great vision to be able to find some space and put his team in much better field position. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Tight game as we start the third quarter and we'll see what type of adjustments they made at halftime. And getting the ball first here I think is such a big deal. Like I get the first chance to make a statement, to make the adjustments, to create some momentum for my squad right here in the third quarter. Yeah, I think it's so important for this offense to set the tone here early in the second half, to get a nice drive going, build that confidence, and get your defense ready to come on out, get a stop, and change the complexity of this game. Solid pickup of four on first down and second and six. Looking downfield, it's Svoboda. Quickly complete. And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chains. And that's why the bullet pass is so important. Sometimes these defenses, they don't give you big windows to throw into, and you want to take that chance, but you cannot lob that football down the field and get it in there. Nice use of the bullet pass, my friend. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. I'll tell you, this defensive end, not only can he pass rush, but he can play the run as well. You see him beat the offensive lineman there trying to block him and get in the backfield to make that tackle for loss. That was impressive. Finds his tight end. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. I think that time offensively, you're just trying to take what the defense is giving them, right? They're playing zone coverage. You got your big fella just working right over the ball. It's an easy pitch and catch. Just take the profit. And let's keep going. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. From the gun, wants to pass. Fire into the right, complete. That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. As a defense, it's so hard covering this guy. Because of his frame, you're not really going to match up. But this guy's also got some wheels. The hard part is bringing him down after the catch. This guy's like a giant giraffe. You're just lions hanging on his neck trying to drag him to the ground. Not easy to do. From the gun, running back on the move. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. On second down, he's looking downfield. Holds it in. Gets out of bounds after the big play, and they'll be set up in business with a first and goal. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. The Cowboys will try to punch it in on first and goal. He's going to pass. He got it. They will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. to attempt to try and they did make the extra point and we have a tie ball game here in the third and let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio Kevin two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today Penn State is going to enjoy the trip back to Happy Valley after a rock solid performance and you take care of business on the road and you stack wins there in Beaver Stadium and suddenly it's quite the resume. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standings, fellas. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. Arizona State has the ball back in the offense making its way onto the field. 
The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that get that one positive play and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Pulls it and fires to the left. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Big play in the passing game there, and I like the receiver gearing down in the zone. Did a nice job finding the soft spot on defense between the defenders, giving the quarterback an easy target to throw to to complete that throw. They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. Using his legs, it's scattable. He breaks a tackle. Got enough for the first. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still, you cannot stop them? There's nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the pass as much. How about the defender being a heat seeking missile he was on radar lock he found the football and flew down with some bad intentions last play was a near disaster now dealing with second and 13. the give to the lone running back knocked down for the tackle Listen, in these situations, it's so hard to push the ball down the field because the defense is playing pass. We bring in more DBs. We're, we're dropping deeper on our, in our coverage, and we're making you throw the ball underneath or run the football. Nice job by the running back. Listen, he got good yards. He didn't get the first down, but now he's in a situation where third down becomes something where it's not predictable. Now it's a situation where they can go out and have success. Fires to the wideout. Makes a connection. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Well, that receiver, he knew he had to get his head turned around quickly. He's running the curl route against zone coverage, but he knows his quarterback is going to be firing that ball into him. It's a rocket pass. He's able to make the catch and get the first. And the Sun Devils come to the line with a new set of downs. Got his man quickly. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Off play action. Using his feet to buy time. The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. Well, you just sort of felt like this defense had to do something to get this quarterback out of a rhythm, right? He's been picking them apart all drive long, and finally, they come up with a sack. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the right. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hands. I'll tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock him up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, and everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up fourth. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. And he missed it. No good. Penalty marker on the field, and the kicker's going to get another go at it, but this time a little closer. 
might be the worst case scenario for this defense. Thought they'd held them to three. Now the offense with a chance for more. The offense will gladly take a fresh set of downs after the penalty. They'll go to the ground. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Wants to throw on second down. And he was looking into the end zone, but it's incomplete. And that, and that was good defense again. And unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense. Or, listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down. They can't pick up the first without scoring. From the gun, wants to pass. Touchdown, Arizona State! And that one will put him up here in the second half. That is so impressive. Not only was it a great catch, but also he made sure he had one foot in bounds to get the touchdown. Beautiful job. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put it on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. See, they need more runs like that. It's just it's been so few and far between. Defensively, they've been in position. They've been winning their one-on-one -on -one battles, getting off of blocks and rallying to the ball carrier. This defense has done a nice job slowing down the run game thus far. You know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy, they're not pretty, but in the end, they're effective, and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. Going up top on first down. They're trying to get to it. And the defense gets to the quarterback. This has been a rough night for this offensive line. Man, they have not protected their quarterback. Everything starts with the big guys up front. That's their fifth sack given up of the game. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. Back to throw. It's Svoboda. Zings it complete to the right. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. And you see the wide receiver. He's got to push up field, make it look like He's going deep, but does a really good job sitting down on that curl, catching the ball. And then as soon as you catch that thing on that curl route, get upfield, get positive yards. Nice wrap by that wide receiver. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. And the Cowboys decide to punt it away. And if your job is to irritate, to confuse, to hit, to make quarterbacks feel very uncomfortable, this defense is definitely doing their job. Six sacks, that's the way to make the quarterback feel like he's having a hard day. He's had no response. This offensive line has no response. Just a sack party. Touchdown, Sun Devils! The special teams with a special moment. 
That return man saw daylight the instant the ball touched his hands and he darted to it and took it to the house. And Reese, I think it's one of the hardest things to do in football, to catch the ball as all these guys are flying around you and you got to take it, make a miss, try to find spaces and creases that aren't there. Great job making a huge play. Special teams and punt returns coming up big. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. NC State delivered the knockout blow early in this one. En route to the type of win that can turn some heads there in the ACC. Trust me when I say the party is on in Raleigh. The circle of life in college football where one team moves on feeling like kings and the other heads home licking its wounds. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. Power football with the run. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. Solid pick up a four on first down. It's second and six. Wants to throw. It's Svoboda. Unloads to the wideout. Got him, and nobody's close. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Fresh set of downs after the completion. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still, just a very short game. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. Start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Wants to fire on second down. Got him downfield. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. To the air on first down. He's got an open man. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. This is an offense that has skill, and they've got speed. And because of that, this defense, they can't lull themselves to sleep. They've got a big lead here late, but they've now given up back-to-back -back big plays. they got to put the clamps down. The give to the fullback. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Well, the fullback helping out his offense here, running the football. Nice job finding the hole and getting up field. Takes a lot to bring this guy down. The give to the back. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. 
Well, the good news is, is you got the first down running it there on second and short, but the bad news is you're down by quite a bit here in the fourth quarter, and two, three, four-yard gains aren't going to get it done. You've got to start chucking this thing vertically to get back in the game. They're going to run it. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Defense rolling out the big bodies to try to stuff the run. Slams ahead. And will cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, Wyoming! Before that score, considering last rights, now all of a sudden, they're not dead yet. In fact, they're feeling much better, and they're alive, and they've got a chance. And I'm looking on the field right now, and I'm looking at their sideline. They're energized, Reese. After that last score, all of a sudden, they believe they can come back and win this game. This is a totally different-looking team than what we saw earlier. And the extra point is good as they close to within a touchdown, 24-17. So an 82-yard drive there. And they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Arizona State is going back on offense, and they come out looking for a spark. And now that cushion is a little bit smaller, Jesse, and any mistake would get magnified. Yeah, a little bit of pressure now on this offense too, David. I think they got to go back to their playmakers and get these guys going in the game. No doubt. Find those plays, those plays you know you can run them in your sleep. You make sure you execute. Build this lead a little bit bigger. Put this thing away in the fourth quarter. And ball security at this point is at a premium for this offense. You're backed up in your own end. You've got the lead, so you want to be able to run the football and stay on the field, bleed the clock. But you know the defense is going to be ripping away at it, right? They're going to be trying to get hats to the football and forcing a fumble. So whoever's got the ball has got to have two hands on it this drive. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. And the runner is down, and so is the flag. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab. It's McLean. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. A completion, but not quite enough for the first down. Third down coming for this offense. He'll pull it on the read. The Sun Devils get it past the sticks. This quarterback does an outstanding job in his preparation, watching film and understanding when he has to pull the ball on these types of run plays. Great job keying on the defender and quickly making the right decision to pull it and then go get north and get the first. And the Sun Devils with the first and ten. Use the play fake now to throw. Quickly to the tight end. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Yeah, nice job by the defense staying glued to him. Getting him on the ground as soon as he catches the football. Knowing he's a threat. I'm not going to let this guy get out of my sights. Nice job by the D. This offense has done a good job on this drive. Taking time off the clock as they come up on second down. He's looking to throw. Just a short pass to the tight end. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. The Sun Devils have their offense in high gear. 
He just couldn't hold his water long enough in the line of scrimmage. It'll be a penalty. False start. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They'll move it back in its first and 15 for this offense. From the shotgun, the inside give. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? They've already peeled more than three minutes off the clock on this drive as they stand over the ball on second down. He's looking to throw. And he dropped it. It looked for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. Well, the receiver did everything right. He ran a good route. He got his head around. He just didn't finish the play. Just look it in. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. And they got him for the sack. The offensive line coach would be pulling his hair out. His head coach is okay right now because they're winning the game, but from an O-line standpoint, they've been atrocious in pass pro. And the Sun Devils will try to pin them back with the punt. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Line gets set, first down. Looking to move it through the air. Caught on the outside, it's Brown. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. And you've created some great momentum. Getting the stop, forcing the punt, now getting it back to your offense. Your offense starting to get in a groove. Late in the game, you need some big plays. You just wonder how much panic there is right now on the defensive side of the football, too, because of what you just said, David. They can feel and sense the momentum leaving them right now with the lead. So someone defensively better step up here soon and make a play. See if they can turn this drive into points. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. They'll leave it with him. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Back to pass. It's Svoboda. Got his man on the right. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Couldn't you just see the offensive staff room this week? They'll never expect us to throw it to the fullback. <laughs> and they did. I, I was caught off guard. I didn't think they were going to throw it to the big fella. But I'll tell you what, nice job by the defense, being ready for whatever comes their way, getting the big tackle for a loss. Lining up to convert third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. You know, on a third and short like that, you just have to have great chemistry between the quarterback and his receiver. They just couldn't get on the same page. Now it's a fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Cover guys do their job, and they get him stopped at the 22-yard line. Arizona State has the ball back in the offense, making its way onto the field. 
Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? This is what got this team in this position to win this game. Aggressive offense, taking shots. Here we are in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. Why stop now? Leaves it with the running back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Dialing up a second down pass play. Quickly complete. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. And these quarterbacks have to really trust their wide receivers that they're going to be disciplined and run to the right route when they're throwing that ball to the outside like that because those corners are sitting there on the inside and the worst thing that could happen is to miss inside and that cornerback be going the other direction. Quarterback on the keeper. They are on the move down to the 32 and they pick up another first down. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. The Sun Devils are on the move. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. Defense there to stop him after a gain of three, but he is inside the 30 to the 29. Yeah, nice run, and I, and I think everybody knows. He's right there next to that 100-yard mark, 98 yards on the day. And that's a mark, man. When you hit that mark a lot of times and you take care of the football, you win a lot of football games. It's the more physical team. It's the team that makes it easy, makes it easier on their quarterback, and they've done that today. At this point, the defense has little choice but to sell out to stop the run on second and seven. Running back searching for a hole. Got enough for the first down. Got some room, headed to the goal line. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Arizona State! And you know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Oregon delivered maybe its most thorough thumping in years in a game that featured a ton of big plays, not unlike the way LaMichael James, Kenyon Barner, and Jonathan Stewart used to do it. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams, but boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. He'll start this drive firing. He makes a catch. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. 
You can break this down a lot of ways, but on that play, the quarterback just believed his guy was better than the defense. And he was really right. And anytime you get pressed, man, where that corner on the outside is all the way up on the line of scrimmage, trying to get hands on that wide receiver. If I win right away, oh, man, you can make a big play on the outside, and he makes a big play for his quarterback. And you got to put that one on the receiver. That's just a flat-out drop. That's a good throw by the quarterback. That's a catch that receiver needs to make. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. Finds his target down the middle. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. You can tell this quarterback did his homework coming into this game. He has been dissecting this defense with his arm and his mind. Over 300 yards passing now. The Cowboys will snap it on first and ten. The aerial assault continues. He's got the back in the middle. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are. And they work with their quarterback, and they find them, and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays. Well, the defense did a nice job taking everything away down the field, but once the drag route was caught, they just couldn't rally to the ball carrier in time to make a tackle, and as a result, new set of downs. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Fires into the end zone. And it's grabbed for the late touchdown. And how about this? It's not over yet. And listen, still a ways to go. But great job by this offense getting you back in the ball game. Now we got a one-possession game. We got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now how do we get this stop? Now the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back. He'll try to tack on one more. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. Just over 50 seconds to go. They're trying to pull off a comeback, and they'll need to get this onside kick to do it. Cool as a cucumber as the hands team makes a sure catch. Yeah, and this is why you put your hands team on the field most of the time when you know it's coming and you put those guys that are great catchers of the football. The first guys, what do they do? They go block. They go blow somebody up. The next guys catch the football, secure it, get your butt on the ground. And most of the time when you do this, the ball game is over. They'll give it to the back. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Takes a handoff. It's Scatterbolt. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. And the Sun Devils will call on their punt team. He won't be able to return this one as it goes out of bounds. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. 
Okay, one possession game. You've got some time to work with, but you have to make up some ground quickly, David. You gotta be smart. Can't throw in front of the sticks. Can't get tackled in front of the sticks. Make sure we're taking some shots down the field, chewing up some yards. Jesse, the defense will be vulnerable here. Yeah, and I think because of that, David, offensively, you gotta have a plan. You gotta know where your best matchup is out on the perimeter and who can make the big catches here in small windows. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. To throw, it's Svoboda. And he just threw that one away. Safe move, didn't see anything, lived to play another play. Well, this offense is up against it here. Trailing late in the game, the defense knows they're going to throw the football. First down, they get sacked. Second down, incompletion. There's no mystery what's happening here. Quarterback's just going to have to make a play on third down. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Well, you look at the clock, they've got time for one more play, but they're out of Hail Mary range here, needing a touchdown to win this game. This is going to be a, a last-second, last-chance play that they practice, by the way, throughout the week. It's going to involve probably a lot of laterals. We've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. He's going up top here late in the game. In the heavy tap again, it's intercepted. Looking for more room. He's at the 40. The 20. And he's going to go down as time has run out. A disappointing start to this season as they open 0-1. Tough way to start, but you see it so many times throughout a season. People start slow, figure out who they are, get better as the season goes on, and your dream's still very much ahead of you. And the sky's not falling right now. You're just 0-1. There's no need to panic. You don't have to try and reinvent the wheel. What you got to do is go back. You got to watch the film. You got to be honest with yourselves. Where could you have made better plays? You got to limit the penalties. You got to limit mistakes. This team is talented. They've still got a lot to play for. So it'll be interesting to see how they come out next week. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
the Cowboys suffered no significant injuries in today's game. Next week's Week 2 matchup has the FCS Idaho Vandals coming into Laramie to take on the Cowboys.